Hello YouTube, thank you so much for coming to my channel. It's your girl Kimberly. I'm so excited to make this video. It is a makeup look for the centennial celebration of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, my sorority. And I'm so ready to be in a celebratory mood. This is going to be such an amazing event. So if you want to see the makeup look, one of the, the first of many makeup looks that I'm going to be <laughs> coming up with for this celebration, keep watching. So before we get into the look and all the things, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. That way you can keep seeing the makeup looks as they keep coming, all right? So... I'm just so besides myself and excited about this so bear with me as I go through what my organization is and why this is such a special time for me and my sorors. So Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated is a sorority that I'm a member of and on January 16, 2020 we will be celebrating 100 years of scholarship, service, sisterhood and final womanhood. It is such a momentous occasion for me and my sores. We are really excited. Um, we will soon all be heading to Washington DC and all over the country and the world. We're going to be celebrating and it's going to be really great. We've been counting down to this for a long time <laughs> and I'm so excited. So in this video I am going to do a makeup look so that way we have all these parties, these galas, we're on Instagram, Zeta 100 Challenge, you've probably seen us. Um, so with all that being said, we need these makeup looks, right? So um, this video, I'm going to do a makeup look. It's actually going to be really simple and understated. Um, one of my makeup pet peeves, which I'm about to break all of 2020, is that I don't like to wear makeup colors that match my clothes but as you can see um i will be wearing para paraphernalia we shorten it called the para and celebrating all year so clearly uh there's going to be a moment where i have on a blue jacket blue shirt blue dress blue hat gloves everything and then i'm going to also have some blue makeup so i'm just going to do a really quick understated way to that way you could be glam but also uh have that royal blue in there so sore roars i hope this video is helpful and for general public if you are just looking for some royal blue makeup looks i got you so let's get started okay so i am back i did have to take my jacket off because i cannot get any makeup on my jacket so I'm starting off. I also have these super cute Zeta Phi Beta makeup brushes. Love them. Um, so I'm going to start off the look with eyeshadow primer. So I already did my brows. Um, I have a brow tutorial so you can go find that uh, if you don't know how to do your brows. <laughs> and I'm going to put a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hill primer. Um, this primer is really good. A little bit goes a long way. Unfortunately on deep and dark skin tones it is going to give you that little ghostly white effect. So you don't want to go crazy with this. Even though it looks like I'm going crazy with this, I promise I'm not. Um, the eyeshadow palettes I'm going to be using are the Fenty Beauty ones. And I have one in three. So those are that's what I'm going to be using. And you can really do this with your finger. I have nails, so a lot of times it's easier for me to start with my uh with brushes but you can definitely use your finger and what i'm gonna do is i like, continue to layer it up so that way i have my whole eye cover but i'm not trying to put too much where i can't come back from it you know so i mean primer is the foundation like you really want to lay that down but at the same time you got to be a little strategic with it so I'm gonna just tap that down. All right. So that nice frosty white, crazy looking area so that way we're gonna be able to make our eyeshadow last cause we're about to be out all day celebrating. So we need that makeup to last. Boom, one eye done, on to the next one. So, um, 
I know it probably makes no sense why people are like, why don't you want your makeup to match your clothes? But in terms of color palette, sometimes it can really be a lot if you're just like, think about it. Even when you get dressed, sometimes for your outfits, you don't necessarily want a brown shirt and brown pants because you feel like it's too much of the same color. So it's the same thing with makeup and clothes. Like if you're wearing that color on your clothes, you can definitely feel like, well, if I also do it for my makeup, isn't that a lot? And that's usually where I'm coming from. So, um, I'm, even though, like I said, I'm going to be breaking that rule, I definitely, um, that's usually what I abide by in terms of when I do my makeup. So, very rarely will you see me with, um, like a purple eyeshadow, purple shirt. And for that reason, I love to wear the color black. And people are like, you're always wearing black. And I'm like, I know, because then I can wear whatever makeup color I want and it's not an issue. But, you know, everybody's not about that life like we are. Okay, primer done and I look crazy. But okay, it's, I'm telling you, it's gonna work out, y'all. There's a method to the madness. So now that we have the primer on, I'm going to take the same brush that I used for the primer. Sorry, I had to grab this little piece of tissue. I'm going to wipe it off. And then that was, I was using one in the mirror to do my makeup. But now I'm going to grab three. Three. And then for my, because there's a really cute color I liked. I, is it Nudie Booty? Or was it in this other palette that I just closed? Nudie Booty is one. Um... Actually, since I made fun of the snap shadows being um, not easy to use, let me snap it together and actually see if it works. So, if you guys hear crashing eyeshadow palettes in the background and then a sad noise because everything fell on the floor, you will know that it did not work. But as of right now, we're cooking with gas. Boom. Oh, but now I can't tell you the shades. Snapping them apart. So, I'm using... Come and get it from palette number one. Oh, sorry about that. And I'm using that as my transition color all over. So I'm coming down the middle with it and getting like the middle part of the moon and then like the middle part of my eyelid. So as you can see, I'm doing multiple taps going back to the palette, making sure I get that color nice and opaque because especially since our primer is white, we do not want that being seen. Now the reason why I'm leaving the ends still white is because I'm gonna put a darker color on this end and some glitter in the middle. And then I will go back with the nude color, the transition color I'm putting right now to blend it out. So I'm one of those people that I do both eyes at the same time. I'm not, I can't finish one eye and then go to the next eye because then I won't remember what I did. <laughs> so we're taking that same like mauve brown color and doing the same thing on this eye, okay? So right in the middle. And I'm, I know that the fact that I'm saying we're using three eyeshadows makes it seems like it make it makes it seem like this is a complicated look, but it's not. You guys can do it too. So, like I said, you're going to come in the middle and then put pack that color on in the middle and really make sure that there's no white. So, I'm going to focus a little bit so you guys can see what I have going on. But, um, there we go, that middle color. Alright, so now that we have... Ooh, this one needs a little more. And this takes time, so I mean, don't think you're gonna get this done in five minutes right before you gotta go. Like, just put the time aside so you can look cute. It's worth it. So, I am now going to use the color Avocado, which is the dark brown in this palette. And you can, you, you can use like another flat brush and do the same thing, but I have like a little dome brush here and I'm going to just come in the corner and kind of, instead of tapping, I'm going to tap and feather it in. 
That way it can blend with that other color that we already have going on. So tap, and I'm blending it more specifically where my eyelid crease is. So I'm blending it all over the, from the top, middle, and bottom, but I do it a little further into the transition color with that dark brown on the little crease point. So we wanna make sure that's all. You see how it's blended? You can't see like where the dark brown begins and where the taupey color begins. That's our goal. Like you don't want it to be a clear line of demarcation of where one color starts and the other color ends. Even towards the lash line, you wanna get those colors blended, okay? Boom, same thing on the other side. So your goal at the end is there should be no white. So if you are seeing white in a certain area, go back. And if you need more of the transition color or this darker outer color, add more. Like go back and maybe tap it on to get rid of the white. And like I said, where that crease is, we're going a little bit further with the brown than we are at the top and the bottom points. And everybody has a crease. Some people might be a little harder to find it, but you got one. Okay, so we got that darker color on the outside, the new color in the middle, and now we are going to put a glitter in the front. And I'm gonna go with, ooh, there's so many cute glitters in this palette. This is so hard, Rihanna. Why'd you give me so many options? I'm gonna go with Simmer Down because it is a pink and it kind of pairs better with that uh, pink, pinky brownie nude that we put in the middle. So I'm going to put that right here. Ooh, a little fallout. But we didn't put on any foundation yet so we could work it. I think it might be because this brush is too small. I'm actually going to go back to the brush that we use our transition color and then see if that can prevent it. Because that's the thing with these products. Some people be like, oh, this has a lot of fallout, but it's not really that it has a lot of fallout. It's that you use the wrong tool to try to apply it. And I should have used a bigger shadow brush, which I'm doing now. And this is working much better. So like I said, we want to tap and blend that front little section with the glitter now some people i know they do do their foundation and they'll put like powder underneath their eyes that way they can um catch it and everything but my thing is just don't even put the foundation on that way any mistake happens you don't have to worry that oh i did the foundation and now i wasted all this time and product and stuff like just do the eyes first i promise you do the eyes first now, I do know that people are going to be like, mm -hmm. that eyeshadow is a little pink. What's going on here? But um, this is a really good color in terms of making brown eyes pop. Um, nude is always a better look, especially, like I said, when you're trying to do all the other things wearing bright colors. So uh, Sometimes you just got to go for that mauve and it looks amazing. See how easily we did that? So what I'm going to do now is next thing I'm going to do is we are not done. I'm going to clean up the little fallout that fell on my face and then we're going to get to the blue eyeliner. Yes. Okay, we're back. So now we are going to do the blue eyeliner. So the blue eyeliner that I have is Marc Jacobs out of the blue. Um, this is a really long lasting on point blue so i really really like this product um it is a plastic pencil so then you kind of twirl the bottom to make it come up and down and all the good things so we have our little point and i'm gonna do underneath my eyelid so i'm gonna start in the corner And then I'm gonna go like halfway and then I'm gonna go to the other corner.
So as you can see, see that little pop of blue? I'm gonna go to the other side. Actually, before I go to the other side, I'm gonna do my waterline inside my eye. Now I know a lot of people don't like makeup this close to their eyeball. So if you don't wanna do that, please feel free to not. This is what you're comfortable with, but um, I like a good uh, color in the waterline and to really just make that whole bottom section blue. All right, other side, here we go. And blue eyeliner is really simple, easy to use. Um, even if you don't do the shadow, you can do the blue eyeliner. So, um, and you could line the top blue only if you wanted to also. That is another option. But I do not have a steady enough hand to do top eyeliner. So that's really not my uh, go-to look. I usually use the felt, pen uh, felt pencil ones for that top when I do that. Boom. So see how we have just like that pop and the blue just like really stands out. I know that when I said Marc Jacobs, I was like, mm, but I'm telling you, this is a really great uh, royal blue eyeliner. So now that the eyeliner is done, next thing you know, we still got to do lashes. So um, over here I have my, sorry, I'm like leaning out the frame, um, eyelash curler, handy dandy tweezer men, uh, Eyelash curler. Be careful, do not get your lids because that is painful. Next thing you know, we have mascara. My favorite mascara, voluminum, voluminum, voluminous million lashes. Uh, from the drugstore, make sure you are switching out those eyeshadows every two months. Keep those eyes healthy. So I'm really only going to put it on the top. If you have a blue uh, mascara, you can put it on the bottom. But the only thing is, is that blue mascara the same as the blue eyeliner? So I'm just going to not do any mascara on the bottom because the blue mascara I have is not the same blue as the liner. And I don't want it to look weird. This is the best mascara of all time. Just saying. Boom. So now we got the lashes. Um, mascara's done. Next thing we want to do is contour and highlight. Okay, so for contour, you want to have your fluffy little angled brush. And what I'm using to contour is the Fenty Matchstick in Espresso. So, um... Just turn that up and then as you can see I naturally have like a contour on my face so I can kind of just follow that and then that just goes underneath there you know so boom got the contour down now it is time to blend make a fish face let me stop fish face not mandatory but helpful And then for this part right here, you just want to blend that out with your finger because your contour shouldn't come that low. Same thing on this side. Some people, school of thought is your contour should stop at your eyebrow, but my cheekbones, like, there's still cheek right here, so I do it a little bit further. There we go. Then we want to blend to get that super sharp um, jawline right there. Boom, ooh, it's coming together. I mean, she, she been coming together, but you know. All right, next thing we're doing is highlight. So for that, I have a flat kind of fluffy brush and Huda Beauty palette in the shade. This is the bronze one, so this is the darkest one. And I'm going to take Maldives, which is my fave out of this one and put it 
join soon. And then we're just gonna tap, tap, tap. And then blend that out. And see how we get that little bit of shine right there. There we go, same thing on the other side. There we go. Same area, tap, tap, tap. Just wanna provide that extra little shine. That way, especially when you take those pictures, you are gonna be shining. And because I did this in the viewfinder and not with the mirror, I'm gonna go back and look in the mirror just to make sure that uh, I don't look crazy. It is easy. I can, from what I'm seeing in the viewfinder, there's a lot going on with this highlighter right now. And that's fine. What you do is you can always take it down. So what I'm gonna do is take a clean brush that has no makeup on it and just blend that out. And even if you feel like, okay, so I'm blending with the brush and it's still too much highlighter going on, you can take a piece of tissue or a napkin or a paper towel and then just blend it like that. And you just want to be careful for the edge of that brow. And get in there even with your finger. Trust me. Cheek products is very easy to go overboard with. Highlighter, blush, all those things. So if you feel like, oh, I put too much and I want to take it down, you could do that. Because we didn't leave the house yet. So we still got time to finesse this look. All right. And there you have it. An easy uh, way to have super cute makeup and have that pop of royal blue so i'm gonna come in closer that way you guys can see so see how it's like transitioning from the dark to the medium then you got the glitter in the front contour blue liner but of course this look would not be finished without a lip so i will be right back showing you guys how a lip i think you can pair with this look okay so now that we have our highlight contour eye is ready you got the Royal blue eyeliner with that bright pop of color that is drawing everybody's eyes in. I put some lip gloss on because I have very dry lips, which is you don't want to start off your lip with a dry lip. So put on some lip gloss, lip, not lip gloss, lip balm, chapstick, scrubby lips, all the things. I am going to go with a lip gloss to finish this look. I feel like I'm about to be out and about all day. With the lipsticks, especially if it's matte and it's drying and then you like want to wipe it off, but now like your lip is like peely and stuff, we don't have time for that. We're going to be out and about. So, I'm going lip gloss. This is Fussy by Fenty Beauty. The gloss bombs are so moisturizing. If you have dry lips, you need this lip gloss. Even if you don't have dry lips. It's just amazing and they smell great. So that is the look. Let me give you guys a close up. So I hope you found that simple enough that you can be glam and enjoy your times with fly makeup. So like I said, I will be coming with more looks. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, I hope you love it.